It's been my great delight to open the Scripture and try to explain to you what it means and apply to your heart. And you have become a mature congregation in the Bible. Once in my life, I invited somebody to come into the church and fill the pulpit that wasn't really what they should be doctrinally. I sat in the congregation that night. I didn't know that much about them. Made a mistake, perhaps. I have never sensed a spirit of dis-ease in a group of people as I did that night. He wasn't five minutes into his message until the hearts of this congregation were troubled and nobody had to red flag him. Everybody knew that man doctrinally was off base. A reporter asked me a few days ago, have you ever had a major problem in your church? I said, well, one, to tell you the truth. It was a doctrinal problem. I, what I believed to be some theological heresy invaded this church and would have led us to be anything but a Baptist church had we allowed it to prevail. Well, as the pastor of the church, it's my responsibility to articulate the doctrines of the church. And so I came to the pulpit when it had gone far enough, and I tried to deal with it other ways. And on Sunday morning, I said something like this. I said, you see those bricks up there? Those are Baptist bricks. And you see that mortar between those bricks? That's not really cement. That's blood. That's Baptist blood. The people of God of this congregation for 155 years given of their lives and their fortunes to build a great Baptist church. And when I leave here one of these days, it's still going to be a Baptist church. And if you don't like that, and that's not good enough, the door swings both ways. Well, I went over and sat down just scared to death. I went to the deacons meeting that afternoon, and all of our deacons stood up and cheered. The knowledge of this church, its commitment to inerrancy and unerrancy, its commitment to the Word of God, its doctrinal maturity in the Scriptures, Paul says you're filled with all knowledge, and I rejoice and I commend you with that.